your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with Stephanie Mead. Well, starting off Wednesday morning with temperatures well above normal, another mild one. Not quite as warm as yesterday, but mostly clear and already starting to see a little bit of sun. Off towards Anago at 38 right now, 37 in Shawano. It's 38 in Green Bay and along the lake shore. We're looking at 45 down in Sheboygan and 48 down in Fond du Lac. Again, we're contending with breaking an all time record high for this time of year in February. That was set back in 2000 at 61 degrees. Today we're forecasting 62. So this is the last warm day we'll see this week and probably for quite a while. 46 for Thursday and then 34 for Friday lowered to middle 20s by Friday and then Saturday into Sunday or Sunday into Monday. We do see temperatures rebound into the 30s and storm shield radar staying pretty clear here across Green Bay down towards Oshkosh and Appleton, but we are seeing some very light showers now just off towards the west of Wausau and Stevens Point. That'll impact our western communities and our northern communities as we head throughout the day today. Overall, a lot of us are going to remain on the drier side, but the big story here is that low pressure system that brings a chance of seeing some accumulating snow by the end of of the week. So it starts off as a wintry mix Thursday evening. It changes over into snow. We'll see widespread two to four inches up towards our northern communities, six inches plus, and that'll create some hazardous driving conditions for this weekend. And right now we already have uh, winter storm watches in effect for pink areas off towards uh, the southern half of Minnesota and the western part of the state of Wisconsin. That's all due to this low pressure system. Widespread snow up towards the northern half of the state. We'll see a mix of rain and snow here in Green Bay and then down towards the state line, Milwaukee and in the Chicago land area the potential of seeing some stronger storms. Skycast showing though mixture of some sun and clouds throughout the day today and then the showers push through throughout the overnight staying mostly cloudy and then we'll see decrease in clouds on Thursday with some sun and then that storm system off towards the west will be brewing throughout the day tomorrow and into tomorrow evening. We're looking at snow accumulations across the area anywhere between three to upwards of six inches but we'll see a lot of mixing with that, so a lot of it won't stay on the ground for too long. As we head into the end of the week, temperatures are going to tumble into the 30s and then 20s by this weekend, and then we'll hold on into the middle 30s and upper 40s as we head into Monday and Tuesday. So big changes on the way, but this is just spring in northeast Wisconsin. Hopefully everyone keeps uh, their ear to the ground with that storm moving through because sure. it could impact some uh, commuting if you're planning on heading about this weekend. Yeah, all the snow has melted completely from my driveway, from my yard, mm -hmm. so it would be nice to have a nice covering, I guess, again come Friday. Yep. All right, thanks, Stephanie. Well, still, still ahead, it's not the running of the bulls, but the chasing of one. How this bull ended up darting through the streets of Queens and what happened.